So yeah, I've been seeing a lot of these videos of food experiments going around and people doing experiments on different kinds of fast food or soda or whatever to show just how bad they are for you and everything. And well, before I get into this, let me just let me just preface this by saying that I am in no way defending any sort of fast food or soda saying that it's not bad for you or any of the brands. I'm not arguing that. I'm actually a bit of a nutrition and fitness enthusiast myself. So no, I'm I'm not here to say that this stuff isn't bad for you. I'm I'm just getting really sick of people looking at these experiments that tell us nothing, that don't really test anything, that you know, just create sensationalism. I mean, come on, like there's that one where the guy's sitting in his van or whatever and he lights a fry on fire and it starts to melt. I mean, kind of. I didn't really see it melting. I couldn't find the video. But I'm like, w what's your point? Something that was deep fried in fat melts? Newsflash! Fat melts! What did you think was going to happen? There's nothing new here to discover. Or how about this one, this video I saw here going around about boiling coke. something other than water is in coke? That there's a bunch of sugar that probably caramelizes when it burns? It's on the fucking label, people! We're not learning anything new here. You know, and everyone goes, oh, I'm never gonna drink coke again. We already knew it was bad for you. You knew there was shit in there. It's on the bottle. But, but I can look past this. Okay, th these were just people in their kitchen, in their van, just seeing what would happen. Okay, fine, they're not scientists. But then there's this other one going around that's about seeing what happens when a McDonald's cheeseburger is digested. Okay, so we're gonna leave our burger to digest for a while in the acid. Come back later and see what's happened. Unlike most of the chemicals I talk about, I can be absolutely sure that every person watching has a sample of hydrochloric acid with them as they watch. Because hydrochloric acid is found in everybody's stomach and it's part of our digestive process. So basically they take a McDonald's cheeseburger, dip it halfway into hydrochloric acid to simulate stomach acid and leave it in there for about three, three and a half hours or so. And when they pull it back out, it looks like a piece of shit or whatever. And everyone goes, oh my God, I'm never going to eat McDonald's again. It's so gross. We're really going to throw a fit because we're simulating digestion, and when we pull it out, it looks like shit. Newsflash, people! What does food look like after it gets digested? I mean, really, I, I somebody send the book Everybody Poops to a publisher or something, because apparently not everyone knows this. I mean, there must be millions of people out there that are eating hamburgers and shitting out perfectly good hamburgers just the way they went in. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? Not to mention, this isn't even simulating digestion. There's way more shit that goes on with digestion than just having hydrochloric acid. There's chewing, there's enzymes. Most of the digestion isn't even done in the stomach. And these guys are supposed to be real scientists in a real lab. If they are real scientists, they should not admit that because this is embarrassing. Guys, what was your hypothesis that you were testing? What is the conclusion that you're somehow able to reach from making this hamburger into a, you know, gooey piece of shit? What, what were you thinking? And why is everyone else so freaked out about this? Did you think it was going to look pretty after it, get, after it gets digested? Did you think it was going to turn into a pink puffy elephant and fly around and fart potpourri all over the place? I mean, <laughs> Come on, learn to think objectively. Learn to think scientifically, or better yet, just learn to think. 
I mean, really, it's just... It's such sensationalism. We already knew this stuff was bad for us. We know the nutritional value. And then when we stick it in something and it becomes a puddle of black goo, everyone freaks the fuck out. Is there even any indication that this goo is bad for you? I mean, have you ever seen hummus? It looks like snot, but it's pretty good for you. You know, I could set up my own stupid food experiment that has just as much validity of this. In fact, let's do that. So, we decided to do an experiment to see the effects of chewing an egg. So, in order to simulate chewing, we have a hammer. Out of all the materials I talk about, I can be absolutely sure that everyone has a sample of hammers in their body because teeth are hard like hammers and smooth like hammers. So we all have hammers in our mouth and it's very important to the chewing process. Unless you don't have teeth, in which case there are no hammers in your mouth. Oh, gross, look at that. Oh, I'm never going to eat eggs again. Oh, it's so gross. Ugh. People, stop with the sensationalism. Let's get to real science, real ideas, real conclusions. I give up. I'm Jamie Norwood. Subscribe to my channel below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Science, bitch! Clean it up. It was an experiment. Shut up! Yes, ma'am.